it's Linda here at Papercraft with Crafty and today I've got one of these boxes for you. So this is one of those really quick and easy no glue boxes. Okay, so you can see it's a lovely shape, it's a nice size. Now I have purposely sized this for a particular box of chocolates but as you can see it's a nice useful looking size and I think you could use it for any number of little gifts and things really. I'll just give you a quick run over of the dimensions. So. It's about three and three quarters long or square and it's about one and a quarter inches deep and this is how it opens. So it's kind of like an origami box you could call it. It folds flat. Once you've done all of your scoring you can just pop it away in a drawer for a rainy day but as you can see it just comes up together really well so I sized it like I say for a little box of these Gillian chocolates so there's four pieces in here and the box itself is 1.48 ounces okay so that just sits in there like that this comes up here and then the front just tucks in here like that now I first uh, introduced this box to a class that I ran back in June last year and since then I have modified some of the um, scoring on it but our class did have fun and they all went away with one of these boxes and they were quite chuffed with them so I just thought I'd revisit the project and I've just tweaked it in a few places okay so I'm going to share with you how you can put one of these together okay so I am working with designer series papers from a new pack of papers which is in the 2018 spring summer catalogue and it is called painted with love so you get 12 sheets of double sided papers um, foiled on one side like this um, and not foiled on the other okay but just really attractive colours and things so anyway going to crack on with this now and I can tell you that this piece of DSP measures 10 and 7 eighths by 7 and 5 eighths and so on the long side you're going to start off by scoring at 3 and 3 quarters then you're going to score at 5 inches then you're scoring at 8 and 3 quarters and at 10 and then turning it on its side on the short side you're scoring at 5 eighths of an inch then you're scoring at 1 and 7 eighths of an inch then at 5 and 3 quarters and at 7 ok so keeping hold of your stylus you're going to need a ruler, something with a straight edge and we are going to be doing a little bit of extra scoring now it's not really that clear I'm going to try and come in a bit um, but what you should see is four squares within your scoring I'm going to mark mine up so you can see where they are Okay, panning out again now because I think it's a bit clearer. So what you want to do is within each of these squares you want to score on the diagonal. So uh, I'm going to start, I'm going to put my paper, my cardstock this way around actually. Okay, so my squares are here and we've got this wide margin here on the left. And what you're going to do is you're going to score from this point here out to that one there like that. And then this one you're doing the opposite, so again you're going outwards like this. Okay, just turn it around. Doing the same, we're going back out. And 
we're going this way like that okie dokes so that's that little bit of scoring done there so now what I'm going to do is some cutting okay so first off what we're going to do is on this side here where you've got this wide angle you should have down here a slim rectangle so we're going to get rid of that one okay we're going all the way down there to the edge of that, that corner of that square and then we're just going to lose that okay I'm going to do the same on the other side so you're coming down this part of the rectangle all the way down to that corner of your square and you're going to cut that away and then you're going to cut this side of this rectangle and you're going to lose that and you're just going to cut down here and you're going to lose this little rectangle here like that okay and the same here like that so now I'm just going to burnish my lines okay and whilst I I'm at this point I'm just going to take my corner rounder now and I'm just going to round off this corner because this will help the front of the box tuck in nice and easily And I'm also just going to round off these corners here. Oops. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our box fold it like this and then where we scored on that diagonal just going to bring your paper across like this and burnish that so it folds in like that and we're going to do the same with this one okay so I'm just going to take it like that and burnish and then we're going to do the same here also so this is coming in like this Turning it around, burnishing, and again in like this, and burnishing so it falls in like that. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of my chocolates and pop them in here like this, bring this up, take these pieces here, and fold them pushing them into there like that okay so that's the box formed and I just want to finish it off now with a nice bit of embellishing so I've got my little daisy punch here I've got some melon mambo cardstock to match the colours that are going on here in the papers and I'm going to punch myself out three daisies going to glue these together I'm going to lay them on alternately like that okay I just want a nice full looking flower just to go on the top of my box so I'm just gonna let that set for a minute so whilst that's setting I've got here a little half inch punch and I've got a little bit of gold foil card so I'm just going to punch that out I'm going to 
stick some glue on there, pop that into the centre of my daisy. Start popping these up to give the flowers some dimension. And I just want to finish off the centre of that flower with one of these gold faceted gems. So just pop it on the end of my stylus and into the centre, like that. Okay, so that just makes a really, really pretty topper. Okay, so I'm just using a dimensional now. I'm going to pop that onto the base. Crimp these up again, like that. Makes such a pretty flower. Okay, and just going to find roughly the centre of the front of my box, like that, and stick it down. And it is as simple as that. I told you it's going to be quick. <laughs> so it's a really nice, easy project, that one. Bring back in this one. Okay, so you can see these lovely colours here. So we've got Melon Mambo here, powder pink and gold. And on this one we've got um, Calypso Coral, which is really pretty. Powder pink again and gold. So the whole pack of papers is a really attractive sort of selection of colours and things. Um, so hope you like that little project and hope it inspires you to go away and have a go. As I say, you don't need to put the chocolates in. You can use these boxes for a whole variety of different gifts. So um, that's it from me today. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already subscribed to my blog, I'd love you to go ahead and do so at www.papercraftwithcrafty.co.uk I'll be putting a link of everything that I've used to make this project today onto my blog and also a link to this video. So I'll be back again with another project for you very shortly. Bye for now.